Right, let's start our science class with an opening prayer. So please everyone stand up and share the presence of our Lord. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, you show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love and have lots of fun. Shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, the guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Amen. Namaste, great in India. Namaste, sir, please. But before you take your seats, see to it that your chairs are properly aligned and pick up those brushes under your chairs. You're done, you may now sit silently. Uh, Miss Secretary, who's absent today? Yeah. Right. Thank you, Miss Secretary. Um, let's remind first our ourselves with our classroom rules. What are those? What is our classroom rule? And keep the classroom clean and organized. Yes, Sibera. Respect others. Respect others. What else? Busy and attentive. Busy and attentive. Yes. Follow direction. Understood class. Are those clear? Okay. How are class today? Have you already eaten your breakfast? Yes. No? Yes. Who said yes? What was your breakfast? Well, eh, that's a How about you? What's your breakfast? How about you, Sir President? What's your breakfast? So, how do we feel if we eat foods? What do we feel? We feel energized, very good, because foods gives us energy. To introduce my topic for today, I will play a music video. So just sing along and have fun. Who is what? What, what is who? Who eats me? And what eats you? I got some news. It's not a game. We're all just links in the food chain. We're all just links in the food chain. Consumers hunt and some they craze. Some are predators, some are prey. What they do, they eat, you see. Need food for their energy. They need food for their energy. Mama said you better watch out. Watch out. Lion's hungry and he's sniffing all about. Mama said you better watch out. Watch out. Lion's hungry and he's sniffing all about. But I ran in the grasslands anyway, and I met the lion that very day. Yes, I ran in the grasslands anyway, and the lion wasn't really hungry I'm not that hungry. day. Cause the lion ate a cheetah that had eaten a gazelle that had grazed upon some grass that had made his own food. Cause the lion ate a cheetah that had eaten a gazelle that had grazed upon some grass that had made his own food. Producers make their own food. Hey, have you enjoyed it? Yes. Okay, what is the music video all about? I might. It's all about the food chain. It's all about the food chain. And that is our topic for the day. In the end of our discussion, you are expected to first analyze the transfer of energy from one organism to another, and secondly, you can construct a simple food chain from a given ecosystem, and lastly, you should be able to practice environmental sustainability in a simple way. Now, I have a story to tell, and this is entitled, The Circle of Life in the Grassland. Once upon a time, in a green grassland, there was a grasshopper happily munching on the leaves. But, but their peace was soon disrupted 
When a hungry frog snatch for a few lunch, go up, go up, go up. A sly snake had been watching the frog and slithered it up silently. And wrap itself around the frog. As the snake savored its meal, high above, there is an eden. Spot there the snake and swoop down to claim its prize. So, what are the organisms that involve in our story? We have grasshopper, what else? Raise your hands, yes? Frog, yes. Snake, and then? Eden, what else? Of course, let's include the grass. Because grass is living things, therefore, grass is a organism. Now let's have our first activity, and this is entitled, or called, Stack Up. Suppose we have here a different characters from the story that represent each cup. Can I ask someone who can perform this simple food chain or how food chain work by stacking this cup? You are going to stack this cup to represent or to visualize, demonstrate how food chain works. Anyone? Yes. Can you hear in front? Could you, could you please uh, explain while we demonstrate it? So my favorites, I got no. And then? Okay, what's next? That's me, very good. That's one. Okay, let's clap our hands for this. Good, it's so much. Okay, we have two types of organisms on how they obtain their energy. The first is food. Autotrophs. So autotrophs obtain their energy from non-living things or non-living components, such as sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. All plants are belong to autotrophs. So here, what organisms that are belong to autotrophs? We have what organism here is plant? Plants. Tabo. Okay. The rice or the grass. Very good. Now the second thing or the second type of organisms are called heterotrophs. So heterotrophs obtain their energy by consuming other organisms. So they consume plants or animals. So what organism here that consume plants and animals? We have experience the yes. The grasshopper, very good, what is? Sala, the frog, what is? We have grasshopper, frog, and then loro, snake, and that's what is? That is, yeah, very good. Where's the solar energy is coming from? Ah. The sun, very good, that's right. The sun is the main source of our energy. Now we will have another activity, and this is entitled Transfer Yarn. So could you please repeat our title? Transfer Yarn. So I asked you to make a hat of animals, plants, right? Can you bring it out and work it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, India, I have here a yard. And I want you to imagine that this yard is the energy that came from the sun, which is me. Now, what we are going to do is to transfer this ball of yard from one organism to another. For example, I am the sun, and I will transfer my energy to rabbit or the carrots first. And then some of you are carrots. And then some of your some of your classmates will be rabbit. I am a rabbit and I will eat carrot. Then some of you will be fox or wolf that can eat those rabbit. Understood? So let's begin. So I am a sun and I will transfer my energy to what class do you have? My apple. Okay. What organism can eat the pineapple? We have. What organism can eat pineapple? Rabbit. Okay. Can you please transfer the bowl of, ener bowl of energy to rabbit? So what organisms can eat those rabbit? We have from your hands. We have okay lion. Transfer the ball of yarn to lion. Okay, for example. After the lion died, what will happen? It will, it will be decomposed by what organism? Okay, decomposer. What example of decomposer we have? Okay, do we have a bacteria or worms here? Okay, that's a worm. So please, please pass the ball of yarn. Okay, can we ask someone? What did you observe in our activity? There is a... Okay, we create a food chain. Learning Mata, what did you observe in our activity? There is a transfer of... Okay, there is a transfer of energy from the sun. So, without the sun, do you think the energy that needs our body would be um, would be possible? No, that's right. So thank you so much to all participate. Can you roll those transfer, those yarn? Thank you so much. Can you can now sit down? So later I'll give the prize to you. In transferring of energy, we have ten percent food. So ten percent are being transferred to the next level. The rest of the 90% are consumed or released in the form of heat and chemical energy. For example, if grass has 100% and the zebra only got 10%, what will be the amount of energy will the lion get from the zebra? It's only, it's only 1%, very good. Now, we will have another activity, but this time, this is a group activity in which we are going to make a paper chain. So each group are assigned to answer following questions. So group one, where's the group one? Group two. Group three. Group four. So you've been eating a sea source and blue. And blue right now. So this is how you'll be graded. So listen up, class. Ten points. Discussion does not have misconception with complete scientific information. 
And then seven points, discussion does not have misconception, but with incomplete scientific information. And five points, discussion have misconception and with incomplete scientific information. Zero points to those two group who did not discuss at all. So I give you five minutes to work with your group. So go to your designated area now. You can work on the floor if you want. So timer starts now. Okay, this is your question, Which is the primary consumers? 
Makita rapid. Why are they called primary consumers? Okay. Okay. They are called primary consumers because they eat directly to producers. Okay. What kind of animals so only eat plants? Yes, what do we call on animals who only eat plants? Herbivores. Very good group two. Let's clap for them. Now, the second order of consumers are called the secondary consumers. So, group three, it's your turn. Group three, it's in front. Okay, this is your question, you agree? Which is the secondary in your work? Secondary consumers. <laughs> Okay, that's right. Now, why are they called secondary consumers? Because they eat directly to the primary. What do we call an animal who so only eat meats? That is carnivore. That's right. Thank you so much, Good Thank you. Now, group four, for the third order of consumers, are tertiary consumers. And then, can you please your voice? Okay. So, which is tertiary consumers? The bear. Why are they called tertiary consumers? Because they are animals that eat secondary food. Oh, very good. And your last question, why do humans consider it as omnivores? Because humans eat both types of food. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, our last components of food chains are food. The day composer. Last but not the least, let's give it up for group five. Yes. Can you please love your voice so that they can hear you? You rabbit, 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 Bear, depende kung parami yung gold na makain sa isang bear, di ba? Pwede naman. So, which is the decomposer in your works? The, the words. Can you, can you give please me, can you please give me another decomposer? Word, punjay, rosa. Okay, bacteria, that's right. So, is decomposer autotrophs or heterotrophs? Heterotrophs or autotrophs? Heterotrophs because they consume. Okay, 
Okay, very good. Because they cannot produce their own foods. That's right. So thank you so much. So all of the group got 10 points. Boom. Now, in understanding of food chain, we become more aware on the amount of food waste we produce and the impact or the consequences it has in our environment. So we can reduce it by meal planning or using up those leftovers because we all know that it will be decomposed. And after that, it will be the nutrients that producers need, right? And also, we can show our gratitude to farmers and fishers, fishermen, because we can appreciate their work and other workers in the food industry. And also, um, we can show our responsibility. How? By preserving and caring our environment. So I have a question. To which um, to which organisms do we belong? From here. Are we all crops or heterotrophs? Hmm? Heterotrophs, that's right. How about in the components of components of food chains? Are we producers, consumers, or the composers? We are the consumers. Okay. Without producers, do you think the consumers stay alive? Without producers, will the consumers stay alive? Why? Yes, Susa. Will you please stand up? Okay, we, we all need foods and that that will serve our energy. So, last question. Without the composer, do you think producer and consumer stay alive? Said no. Yes, why? Why no? That's right. Producer and consumer cannot stay alive without the decomposers. Ayan, ano? Wait. Pag wala ang composer, magbubuhay ba yung producers and consumers? Okay, are the bacteria, fungi, and worms. po yung ano to. Ito kanil po kasi kami, then ano po, parang may mga worm po na tawag dito na kulibay na na mas nagpapataba po sa alaman ni Paul Mumpan pero po, sabi nila, sabi ito mahalagay na po yung pasok. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. So, nabang dito yung pagtatanin. So, by understanding food chain, we can apply, uh, we can apply gardening in the, by understanding food chains. Because we all know that in food chains, organic, all organisms are connected to each other. So every one of us, every organisms are important because we're all connected to each other. So um, let's have a quick review and we will have um, assessment. So um, do it on your notebooks, answer only. <laughs> So, try to answer this on your notebook. So, choose answer from the word bank that best describes. So, I'll give you three minutes to answer this. Thank <laughs> you. 
answering? No. Okay, you're done? Yes. Okay, let's try to answer. Number one, who can answer? Yes? Please read please, please first. It illustrates the transfer of energy from green plants to green plants. That is the food chains. Very good. Next, number two, Mr. Katari. The source of oil. Solar energy is called sun. Number three. Yes, of power. Okay, top producers, very good, because they produce their own food. Number four. Who wants to answer? How about here? Christina, what's your answer in number four? Uh, can you please speak first? What's your answer in Yeah, yes, it is a Consumer is very good. That's it. Yeah. Number five. They go closer. That's right. So who got five? Oh. A lot of you got the perfect scores. Who got four? How about three? Okay, thank you so much. So homework. Next, on, on next meeting, on a short bond paper, I want you to create a posters that can promote awareness to your community about the food chain. So we will create a posters that um, let's spread awareness in our community, which is the Ombalban. So we're going to promote about the food chain. So before I end our session, I leave these quotes to you. So, the food chain is a constant reminder that we're all connected. And our choices matter. Respect and service the ingredients of life for they sustain us all. So, um, all organisms are important and all of us is important to each other. So, thank you so much class and goodbye Great India. Goodbye, Mr. Pintos. Goodbye, Mr. Pintos. Thank you for teaching us. Mahuay. Okay, all of you will get um, free snacks for everyone.